<laughs> Hi everyone! I'm Architect Gerard D and I'm here to teach you about Rule 7 and 8 in application of the Architecture Licensure Examination. Mag-aral naman tayo na isang sample problem. No? How to use and apply the Rule 7 and 8 in any kind of project. Tapos, ano tayo, uh, apply natin, compute natin yung developmental controls. So, review lang natin. No? Do you remember yung first video natin? Uh, we identified the six site elements. Okay, so, ano yung six site elements natin? So, zoning, TLA, lot type, road, orientation, and then slope. So, if we have those six site elements, mas madali na siya sa, para sa atin makapag-compute na developmental controls. So, review lang natin. Kahit na wala pa tayong building description, wala pa tayong floor plan, wala pa tayong design, we can actually compute and we can actually derive the maximum potential, development potential of your site. Let's use this uh, commercial uh, building as a sample no, for our computation. So, commercial building. Ano yung zoning? Zoning, di ba? First is zoning. So, zoning for commercial building is C3. No, let's use C3 as uh, as an example. No, C3. C3. We have three types of commercial, di ba? So, light commercial C1, uh, mid commercial is C2, and then high commercial no, is uh, C3. Okay, so let's use C3. And then zoning. So we next is TLA. So the TLA for this uh, example for this project is two thousand three hundred ten square meters. So for example, given you sa exam yung frontage which is forty two meters. So hindi niya binigay kung ano yung depth of the lot. So pag ganyan, uh, you have to derive the depth of the lot by uh, divide dividing the TLA with the given uh, dimension. So, 2310 divided by 42 will get 55 meters. Okay, so 42 by 55. That's a TLA. Okay, so next is lot type. The lot type is a regular lot, no, regular or inside lot, inside lot, and then uh, just draw it. So when drawing your lot, make sure that you have some, some sense of scale, no? Para tulungan mo din sarili mo hindi ka hindi ka na malilito and also occupy uh, uh, one third, at least one third of your paper space, no, for for this drawing. Hindi hindi na graded ang drawing sa board exam. So dito lang ayusin mo na lang yung drawing mo para matulungan mo yung sarili mo at makapagsagot ka ng tama, di ba? So, at least one third of the paper space, no, i-occupy natin. So, we have here the lot type. No, the lot type is a regular inside lot. Okay, after that, no, indicate the dimensions, no? So, using a different uh, color for your pen, but in the board exams, bawal kasi gumamit ng ibang color so you can use your pencil for your dimensions and then your pen for the drawings no? so this is 42 meters and then the depth is 55 meters got it okay so that's the lot type so next is road so the road here is your road indicate and label it as road right of way also indicate if you have sidewalk uh, information or the width of the sidewalk so so the length of the si width of the sidewalk the minimum width is 1.2 meters it is also uh, based on uh, the accessibility law or the bp 344. So, road. So, if you have your description, the road, for example, is 25 meters wide. So, the sidewalk is also included in that width. Road. 
And then next is orientation. So orientation, let's say that the side is facing south. So indicate all the sides of the orientation and and uh, that's it, no? It will be helpful for you. Para hindi tayo malito, hindi tayo ma ma isip pa, no? Hindi tayo malito dito. And then slope. Slope is it has a slope, a three percent slope towards the road. So usually, ang klebe ng mga lote papunta sa road. O kaya kung meron kung kung ang lote naman natin is pa pa baba, no? Uh, usually, merong uh, waterway or bodies of water sa bandang likuran. No? Kaya yung slope, uh, it really depends on the information that is given, that will be given on the exam. So, just indicate it with this arrow and then indicate the, the slope percentage. Okay. So, review natin. No? If all the six side elements are present in our drawing, so first is zoning. Yes. No? So, we have TLA. Lot type, road, orientation, and then slope. So if you have all of this, ready ka na to compute for the developmental controls. So first is uh, AMBF. So first is AMBF. According to our rule 7, we have to compare the two factors, the PSO and also the application of the minimum setback. So AMBF 1, Let's indicate it as 1. So, application siya ng PSO max and then the total lot area. So, okay. So, help me here. So, PSO, no, based on the the rule 7, or rule 8, no? Rule 8. Um, go to your table 8.1. Okay? On your rule 8. Okay? Rule 8. And then find your C3. No? That is your project. No? So C3. So here. So according to the code, it is 80%. No? 80%. Okay. So yung isa yung sub F kapag merong firewall requirement yung project. So in this example, firewall is not uh, prescribed. So, so we will be using 80%. So, as your PSO. And that is already maximum. Okay? So, 80% times the total lot area of 2,310. So, computing this, no? So, this is 1,848 square meters. Okay, so that's it, no? So next is AMBF 2, application of the setbacks. Okay, so for the for commercial buildings, ano ang magdidictate ng setbacks? Road, no? Ang road ang magdidictate sa setback. So just proceed to your rule 8 and find the table 8.3. 8.3 here okay and then uh, check no yung width ng road natin yung road width natin is 25 meters so it was uh, it will fall under this uh, category so 25 to 29 meters uh, road width we have 6 meters in the front 3 meters on the sides and also sa rear so 6 3 3 no just uh, indicate it in your drawing. You no, know, have an initial building footprint. And then indicate our setback. So six in the front, three on both sides, and also the rear side. A rear, you no, know, rear of the property. So and then uh Shortcut na natin, ano? Just indicate and the uh, compute yung ating building footprint minus the setback applications, no? So, here, 42 minus 6 is 36. And then, this side, says 55 minus 9 is 46. So, that will be your building footprint. Just multiply it, 36 
times 46 is equal to 1,656 square meters. So that's it. Now, so comparing the two, if you compare the two values, no, you will uh, you will get no the, the most stringent value. So according to this, no, the most stringent value or yung nakakalimit or yung nakakasakal no, is yung 1,000 uh, 1,656 uh, square meters, and that will become your AMBF. Bakit ko nag-isipan na i-share sa inyo yung rule seven, basics ng Rule 7 and 8? Kasi wala naman na akong iba pang maibibigay sa inyo. Pero actually, meron pa. Isa pa. Ito. Ito lang ang maibibigay ko sa inyo.